We're gonna try an experiment. Now all around me are the wrong things. And I can spot a sucker when I take a swing. Hands full of memories and I can make them sing. Bring you to the promised land and let your bell ring. An SUV or sport utility vehicle is two to three times more likely to kill a pedestrian in a collision compared to a regular car. Why? Well, it's a design issue. A key feature of an SUV is that it sits higher off the ground than most cars. If this car hits a pedestrian, its bumper is colliding with the person's rib cage and vital organs. But more importantly, it's directly hitting their center of gravity, which means this SUV is more likely to push the pedestrian forwards and run over them. Compare that to a regular car like the sedan. With its lower height, a sedan is more likely to clip a pedestrian's legs and send them flying on top of its hood, which is designed to be bouncy like a metal trampoline. Still very painful, but not as fatal. Now, many people are concerned about this because SUVs are actually becoming very popular. In 2020, the light truck segment of cars, which includes SUVs, pickups, and vans, accounted for 80% of new car sales in Canada, a share that's been growing for the last decade. At the same time, sedan sales have fallen off a cliff. The future of road traffic is looking very SUV, super unsafe for vertebrates. And the data is increasingly showing that. Pedestrian deaths have actually been increasing in recent years. According to a study by the OECD, Canada reported a 5.6% increase in pedestrian deaths between 2010 and 2018, while cyclists and drivers all saw decreases. But this trend is really apparent when you look at data coming from the US. Pedestrian deaths had been decreasing since the 80s, but in the last decade, they've been sharply rising again. Many are now pointing the finger at SUVs for playing a significant role in that increase. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, SUVs account for about a third of pedestrian collisions in the US, but closer to 40% of the fatalities. But there is another side to this story that I think is very important to get into. Why are people buying SUVs in the first place? SUV owners are among the most satisfied with their vehicles. According to a Volkswagen survey, 87% of them have no plans of ever buying another kind of car. There are many reasons behind this love affair. Space, comfort, and flexing on minivan owners. But there's one reason that really stands out to me. Safety. In a study of vehicle deaths between 2015 to 2018, sedans registered 48 deaths per million owners every year. That number for SUVs was 25 almost half. Dig deeper into the data and you see a clear trend. The bigger the vehicle, the less likely the risk of death for its passengers. You can see that in other large vehicles like minivans and pickup trucks. By that same token, smaller cars were more likely to be deadlier cars. The deadliest car in the study was the Ford Fiesta, a mini sedan which registered 141 deaths per million owners every year. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, who wrote this study, Puts it plainly, a bigger, heavier vehicle provides better crash protection than a smaller, lighter one, assuming no other differences. An SUV is a bigger car, and that makes it a safer car. But that creates a whole new issue. A bigger car is also more dangerous to a smaller car. This concept is called crash incompatibility. In a crash involving two similar sized cars, both vehicles inflict a similar amount of damage to each other. But when a crash involves a smaller car and a larger car, the smaller car is toast. A study from the University of California found that being hit by a vehicle that is a thousand pounds heavier than your own is 40 to 50% more likely to be fatal. So here's the problem. More people buying SUVs is likely creating a feedback loop. It's the survival of the biggest. In a world where SUVs are becoming more and more popular, smaller vehicles become more dangerous, and people have a very compelling reason to buy a bigger car. In 2004, economist Michelle White wrote that drivers have been running an arms race by buying increasingly large vehicles. So there's clearly a dilemma here. I think it's understandable for people to want a car that is safer in an accident. But 
that desire is actually making our roads more dangerous. So I think the answer here is to ban them. Ban all SUVs. I'm not even kidding. Last year, the European Transport Safety Council recommended banning SUVs altogether in towns and cities across the EU. Cities like London, Paris, and Florence have considered restrictions on SUVs as well. So what are we waiting for, North America? Let's ban every... <laughs> So that admittedly was kind of my opinion going into this story, but I think there's a less heavy handed and frankly more important discussion to have here. We actually have a history of making cars much safer. In the 80s, governments introduced safety standards that required seat belts, airbags, and crumple zones in our vehicles. Over the years, those safety features have reduced passenger fatality rates to about half of what they were before. Many are now calling for similar standards that require cars to have safety features for pedestrians. This could include alterations to the front bumper or technological solutions. The SUV you see in this video is equipped with sensors that can detect pedestrians and automatically apply the brakes. These pedestrian safety standards already exist in Japan and the European Union, but they're virtually non-existent in the US and Canada. The only line that mentions pedestrians in Canada's motor vehicle safety regulations is about how you can't have sharp mirrors. For decades, we've very successfully focused on improving the design of cars to make them safer for people inside them. But the rise of SUVs and pedestrian deaths really opens up a new discussion. Perhaps it's time we started thinking about the safety of those outside vehicles as well. To the back, I'm bumping all day. Say something, say nothing, and that'd be okay. I'm falling and stunting and something that's ugly, but punk and I'm stunting, so that is okay. Let